So I just got back from the grocery store. And I realized that every single time, and this has been going on for two years now, every single time I go to the grocery store, I have severe anxiety and it culminates at the self checkout when I'm checking out. Uh, and I watch those numbers keep going up and up and up. And I'm like, how in the fuck? <laughs> Am I supposed to sustain this? How is anyone supposed to sustain this? Who are the people that are out there buying brand new cars off the lot? I don't know anyone who can even barely afford to buy a car off a used car lot um, or even get their car repaired. I don't know anyone who's not struggling. And maybe, I don't know, maybe there are people that aren't struggling out there, but there can't be that many. It is so ridiculous out there right now. Why aren't we in the streets? Why aren't we in the streets? Because let me tell you something. France, every single one of their workers was out on the streets. China, all of their students, man, when they protest, even though it's, co it's a communist regime, they get out there and they protest. The streets are full of people willing to put their life on the line for something they believe in. And we aren't doing jack shit and our government just keeps pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. And when is it going to be too much? Because we are almost to that point. Hashtag don't pay your taxes. That should be trending. No Americans should pay next tax cycle. Because I guarantee if nobody in America paid their taxes, the government would collapse. It would shut down. And they wouldn't have enough people to come after us. The United States government would have to come to us begging to be our bitch again if we decided that we weren't going to pay our taxes. And do you know why we are not out on the streets like France, like Canada, like China? Because our government has systematically divided us to the extent that we cannot, we do not feel like we're even from the same country. Like we have all these little countries inside our country, uh, all these little cliques, and we just don't feel like we are united as Americans any longer. And that was a result of very careful planning on the government's part. And I probably shouldn't even say the government, I should say the elites. Uh, it's in our public school systems. It's in our media, legacy mainstream media. It's in social media. It's all over the place. We are continuously being divided. I mean, they are throwing all sorts of shit that divide us, at us, and we're accepting it. Shame on us. Shame on us fucking Americans because we allowed ourselves to be manipulated. We allowed ourselves to believe that our neighbor was against us and it wasn't our government and it wasn't our party, but our neighbor. No, it's not the neighbor that's against you. It is the Democrats. It is the Republicans. It is the president and Congress and the Bilderberg group. Those are the people that are against us. Our neighbor could probably help us in this war if we just stopped being divided. If we stopped allowing them to manipulate us, living in this country is like being in a relationship with a narcissistic, toxic abuser. And I say enough is enough. Hashtag, don't pay your taxes. Get that trending.